putting him in this. Look at this. I just make walk his knee to go straight up. Like put it, like anchoring my head here. He's putting my knee. I'm also known as putting my knee right in the bottom of his foot to do this. Now be careful with your partner right now. Like we don't want to tear anybody's knees out. But in a competition, like. This is where, you're, to beat this position, to win this position, this is where you kind of have to start thinking about it. It seems counterintuitive to go back to the front. But that's how you're going to get your, your elbow deep above the knee, your hand above the knee. And what else, Bryce? What else? Like? Straight the right. Straight never but before that. Positionally. Before that. Head, yeah. And I'm thinking about, this is all I'm thinking about with my head. Right here. All the way through my hands below the knee. This is number one. One, two. And I might lock my hands, but you see my head keep wizard. He might even stuff my head. Yeah, but look at this. I'm strong right here. But back here, I'm pretty weak. Like my arm, he's putting a lot of pressure on my arm. And in fact, I don't even want to be here anymore. <laughs> it, it's not possible. So this, right away, like that has to be number one. Two, and then look at I'm taking some weight off me, but I'm gonna start kind of going backside again. Knee to the bottom of the foot. Look at my hand, is it still there? And I might even do this, do this. Trap his foot. Once I'm here, It's such a process from there. Um, any questions? That's kind of where it's you want to kind of progress it though. That's like no shit. That's like rule one of the shit with you. Jump your hand above the knee, elbow deep. Jump your knees up to the front against you to get your head in the right position. And then walk on a backside against it. This knee is on the bottom of this. And then kind of pressure up with your head, and like pressuring up with my head and lifting the knee. Slowly lift the knee. And then from there, what do I do? Now we know this one. Shelf it, right? But at that point, it's, I'm pretty much behind him, right? That's what you guys gotta think about. Once you lock the knee out and you put it up to your head, you're pretty much behind him, right? So it's a process, like I'm not trying to run around the back as fast as I can. Sometimes we, there'll be a time where you really need to, all right? But most times when you're stuck in this position, it's where you kind of have to use pressure. Pressure's your best friend. Head pressure, your knees, get your knees in the right position, your elbows, right? Yeah, I don't think you see it. He's got the shin wizard, hand above the knee, give me some good pressure. Now he's got really hard pressure here, so I'm, once I'm here. This is not going to be easy. The first part's not going to be easy just to do this. But once I can do that, once I do this, wait, I can start lifting this onto my knee to get my head in the right position and get the toes. Everybody's going to kind of find a different way to do this. The main thing though is to keep your head tight. Not only here, is he going to stretch the end? Yeah, see that? So it's not necessarily under the, the stomach. It's literally right here in that That's the bone, right on that bone. You know my head right there? It's literally right on this bone right there. And now from here, find his foot with your, with your knee. And I'm driving my head and pulling the knee up at the same time. Got it. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two. 